Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace here, back with another video once again. Two topics to go over today. Activision says they will continue to support the Wii U, and they hope to add to its appeal. <sighs> Yet we have two issues. One really doesn't affect me at all, but one is DLC on COD Ghosts has been supposedly the fall early free DLC whatever the fuck it was called from the Wii U version apparently has been pulled from the website so looks like they wanna give Nintendo fans who play COD the short end of the stick once again now while I don't play COD and I don't like anyone who does play COD if you are gonna play it it is best to play it on the Wii U seeing as it is free online but that being said, Activision, your other store or your other issue here, they will show support for Wii U and they hope to add to its appeal. Destiny. That's the only thing that needs to be said. You are Bungie's publisher right now. It's your decision. Tell Bungie you're putting it also on the Wii U. It's going to be on PS3, uh, or is it PS3? It's PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360. I'm not sure on PS3, maybe. Uh, no PC and no Wii U yet. Put it on PC, put it on Wii U, please and thank you. This isn't even the first time I've done a video talking about Activision and Destiny and their supposed support of the Wii U. It's as simple as this though, Activision. Give Destiny on the Wii U. That adds appeal. People see Destiny and they're like, oh, that's a pretty cool game. That's all I have to say on that topic. The other story to go over here is TechCrunch says the death of Nintendo has been greatly under exaggerated. Not over exaggerated, under exaggerated. They say, uh, as anticipated by some, cough cough, the Wii U is a dud. It's actually much worse than a dud. As of right now, it's a colossal failure. Maybe some key holiday releases uh, alleviate the issue, but the fact is that it's a poor concept, uh, accentuated by poor hardware. If Nintendo was smart, they'd write it off right now. The excuses go on. The key here is that Nintendo is on the path of failure for a couple very simple reasons. They have failed to make great products for a number of years now. The market is rapidly changing around them. Oh my goodness. Now this uh, tech crunch, the website is going down, bankrupt, closed, whatever you want to call it. Uh... <laughs> So this is basically an article just for them to get views and get people to come to their website, nothing more. Because if you want views, you want to get yourself to get some attention, just bash Nintendo, man. All the Nintendo haters will swarm up your ass and give you a fucking orgasm. It's that simple. That was really a gross, disturbing image, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's... <laughs> These guys are fucking idiots. Poor hardware. The Wii U is not poor hardware. Like most people, they haven't seen the Wii U dev kits. They haven't worked with its architecture. Go get one. Sure it costs five grand or so. Get one. Look at it. It has the power. The issue is you have to know what you're doing with it. You have to figure out how to make the most of it. If you just want to slap a game on there without actually uh, what's the <clears throat> excuse me? What's the word I'm looking for? With you don't want to. Fuck! I can't remember the word. If you don't want to polish up your game and get it running smoothly, uh, what the fuck is the word? Uh, you know, get it adjusted to run on a different system than what it's already basically meant for, then of course it won't be as good as its other systems. If you make a, a game meant for the freaking phones for iPod, iPad, uh, for iPhones and all that crap, and then you put it on a console, it will be different, because it's different architecture. You want to put a game on multiple systems, then if you want it to be the best on every system, you have to adjust the game per system, because not all systems are the same. If they were, what would be the point of making three different fucking systems? Point is, of that long-ass rant of pointlessness, the Wii U has much, much more power than most people realize. It just has not yet been revealed. Well, it's been teased with frickin' Monolith Soft's X game, 
and that's just a small sample. The Wii U is pretty close to the Xbox One on the spec side. Xbox One a smidge higher, but overall it's not going to be a huge difference. PS4, yeah, it'll be stronger in the end, but who cares? Same old, same old. Uh, anyway, and then they say they've failed to make a great product or failed to make great products for a number of years now. So they just want to completely ignore that we won the seventh generation, sold more than PS3 and Xbox One, or I mean Xbox 360, and people only had to buy one system usually. Unlike, you know, three or four Xbox 360s and two or so PS3s with the yellow light of death or whatever. Really? Really? Sony has been failing for the past ten years, yet they completely ignore that. They want to ignore the 3DS, which is the number one most dominant system in the world right now. Most popular, most consistently sold, most bought, most pure profit. They want to just ignore that. They want to just go right after the Wii U having issues with its selling. I'm going to tell you this straight to your face. Well, not straight to your face. Straight to my screen here. But the PS4 and the Xbox One are going to repeat what the Wii U did. Sell out at launch. And then for the next, you know, six months or whatever, they're only going to sell a little bit here and there. If you really think... For month after month after month, the PS4 and the Xbox One are going to be sold out? You're completely wrong. The economy is not what it was in 2006. The casuals will not gobble up the Xbox One and the PS4. Things have changed. It will be a repeat of the Wii U. No good PS4 and Xbox One games come out until next year. Xbox One won't have anything worthwhile till Halo 5, and even that is a stretch. With 343 at the helms, who knows if that's going to be good or not. More than likely, not. PS4, in my opinion, its best game, Destiny, a multi-plat, doesn't come out till next year. Then there's Kingdom Hearts 3 and all that crap. Uh, not till next year. There's really nothing worthwhile until next year for those systems just like the Wii U. Sure the Wii U had a head start but the issue or the thing was the Wii U's head start its main purpose or its main benefit I should say was it worked out all the feature or the bugs and got all most of the features up and running we're still waiting on party uh, party chat and all that but Xbox One and PS4 right at the bat they're gonna have some bugs count on it especially Xbox One because something's going on there we haven't seen any actual gameplay about any or from any Xbox One game. Everything that we've seen so far has been running off PC. For some reason, they don't want to show any true gameplay. Why? There's something there. There's some kind of issue with the system. Whether it's um, the or initial chip they used, which was uh, too low of performance and they still couldn't fix it, I don't know. Whether it's uh, the graphics aren't as good as they had wanted or as good as the PS4s, so they want to use PC graphics, I don't know. But there is definitely an issue there. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you are dead set on getting an Xbox One, wait a while. Do not get one at launch. Wait a few months. Maybe at Christmas, I'd say. Well, that's only one month after it comes out. But still, wait a little while to see all the issues pop up, if there are some, and there's at least one. But that's gone way off topic from this article. The point was that they are ignoring Nintendo's Wii history, Nintendo's 3DS history, Nintendo's DS history, which is the number one sold system in the world, period. <laughs> they simply go after one small little bit of news, or not news, but one small topic, which is the Wii U has a troublesome, you know, eight months or whatever it was. whoop de doo Eight months out of Nintendo's 124 years of being a company. Oh my god, they must surely be doomed. The fact is this. This is my final point I'll say before I wrap up the video. Nintendo has been around 124 years. They will not in they will or they have never been in risk of failure. They have never or they're not currently in the risk of failure and going bankrupt and doom and gloom. And they never will. If by chance they do, it, there won't be any foreseeable downhill, like dramatic downhill for them, until 2075. That's how long they can go. They could not make a penny ever again, lose $257 million every single year. 
They would last until 2052, then they could sell stocks, technology, their buildings, and they'd last till 2075. Nintendo is here to stay whether you like it or not. They don't fail. They do fuck up from time to time, but Microsoft, ho ho, they fuck up a hell of a lot more. Sony, self-explanatory where they've been fucking bleeding money out the ass for the past 10 years straight. But Nintendo, when it comes to the gaming world, is in a far, far better spot than Microsoft and Sony. You can't deny that. If you are, you're a Nintendo hater or a fucking fanboy. It's really that simple. But that's all I have to say on this topic. Those were the two stories I wanted to go over. Uh, so, yeah, now to record a Pikmin 3 episode. So this, as always, is Original Blood Ace. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon.